Hello and welcome to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator. So, obviously I think it was two, three episodes ago. We did the episode Restoring the Winchesters in Parlour. And ever since that's come out, I've been getting a lot of, uh, you know, uh, that's not the uh, Winchester's car, the Winchester's car is this, that, the other. I know what the car is. And I did mention in the video that I couldn't get the car because it wasn't appearing in the scrapyard. But today is a lucky day because it appeared in the scrapyard. So, I did say we'd redo the um, episode. So, the 1967 Chevrolet Impala. So, we're going to... And I actually found it in the scrapyard. So, we've actually got a full rotted car to restore. So, we'll do what we normally do. And we'll start off by stripping. In fact, let's quickly... Go and get the old one, <clears throat> the uh, the knockoff, and we'll quickly sell that just to get some money back. So it was a bolt cape. Uh, move to garage. There she is. So what we do is we take off some. Uh, actually, this is a bigger car, so we're probably going to need bigger wheels. What engine is this? It's a V8 two carb, isn't it? So yeah v8 2 carb ohv so if we quickly see what's running in this one oh, this is a v8 1 carb oh that's a shame all right well anyway <clears throat> we will sell this get some money back so 50 grand basically 60 grand nice and uh yeah let's start stripping this baby so i think what's this oh wow we've got loads to take off look at that so, cooling, battery, there we go, uh, windshield needs to come off, doors need to come off, anything else, back window, uh, that door, oh, <laughs> look at that, <clears throat> nice, completely stripped, no, wrong one, want this one, uh, yeah, so what are we taking off, the rear bench, is that it? We can't do the back. Well, that sucks, doesn't it? Oh, well, never mind. So, yeah, right. So, let's get her up in the air. Nothing else to take off, no? All right. Looking good. <clears throat> so, now we will have the legit original Impala restored for the Winchesters. So, oh, what am I doing? There we go. Right, let's get this off. Now we bought the wheel pack too. Hopefully, we can get something that's more for their car. So the suits, you know, that's more of their driving rooms. So hopefully, we'll find something that matches. But if we get all this stripped, like a saw, shouldn't take too long. After all, we did find it from the, uh, the junkyard, so... You know, everyone's come and raided the car for pieces anyway, so, you know, it's all gone. we got to buy it all back. And then she goes sit up in the old garage with our collection, because next episode we're going to be doing Eleanor. Now, if you're young and you haven't seen God in 60 seconds, then you won't know that Eleanor is the 1967 Shelby Mustang GT500. She is, um... It's a beautiful car, actually, especially in the film. The engine roars, man, it's wow, <laughs> it's amazing. You know, you actually you turn the mute, you turn the surround sound up just to enjoy the engine, you know. But, uh, yeah, right, so if I quickly get the rest of this done, shouldn't take long, and I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, there we go. So she is completely stripped now to the bare knuckle. So if we get her down, and uh, I don't think she's gonna have any oil in her, we've literally just got a block you know so if we get the engine out and then we get that taken down we're gonna have to probably rebuild that all the way uh, what we're we doing we're moving this all the way to number three there we go so yeah look over here we have the Shelby GT500 now we got it oh look we can do engine swaps and everything in this oh we should have took the bloody engine out for this car oh my god oh never mind we'll just rebuild one uh, so pull out. And there we go. We go put it over here. Uh, engine. So it's a V81 carb. Uh, 
Um, so, yep, we've got all of this to take off. So yeah, there's not much to this engine at the moment, so we're probably going to have to rebuild the whole thing. What I need to do, start doing is going to the um, auction and buying cars, taking the engines out, and then, you know, we've got an engine. We can, yeah, take the engine out, sell the the rest of the car and then we've got engines you know we'll take them apart fully customize them and rebuild them clean them up and then yeah we can go to the junkyard we've always already got the engines you know so all we've got to do is restore the rest of the car it just takes less time so yeah well, that'd probably be a plan it's because we need loads of money especially as we're not selling the cars you know we're going to keep them and get our collection up Got quite a few to do yet. We've still got the old Fast and the Furious to do. Right, we've got to take this off then, yeah. There we go. Uh, and that one. That one. That one. That one. And that one. Right, let's go and repair this shit. Right, it's just full of rusty cars. Right, there we go. So we're not doing too bad for money, we've got 497,096. Gonna continue to go down for a minute. Come on, baby. There we go, perfect. Right, what got fixed and what didn't. Right, good, that did. Uh, so, we haven't got any oil filters, have we? No crankshaft? Yeah, we'll put that in there. Right, uh, so we need our pistons with con rods. So if we go to here there we go, we buy how many? eight and then we'll do the same over here, we've got to be really careful with money now until we start making loads, you know what I've done is, for today's episode to make the money for it, I went to the scrapyard and got a Carrera GT and that got us 300,000 back so what I'm going to do is it's just in my spare time is try and get a load of them from the uh, scrapyard so we can rebuild them and just get loads of money back up. Right, we haven't got any of these have we? No, so we're gonna need eight of the old rod caps. Rod caps, me old maga. There we are, lovely. One. Uh, we're going to need some crankshaft bearings, aren't we? Yep, okie dokie, we'll get them. There we go, how many? Three? Probably. So, here we go. We get this engine built, and then we get our back in the car, and then we start restoring the body and all that stuff. So, yeah. It will. It's all going to look good, and we will have the legit version, right? So you'll all be happy in the end. Right, two more to go. And that'll be the inside of the engine block done. Right, perfect. We haven't got an oil, have we? No, so oil pan. V8 FHV. There we go. Let's get that sealed up. Right, so we also need the oil filter. Filter V8. That one. There we go. Right, let's turn it around. And let's get back to it. What else? So we can get engine heads probably. From here. Uh, what ones do we need? V8 OHV. Yep. Have a look, see, where are they? There we are, two of these. Gotta have the good shit in ya. If we're keeping the car, you want it to be perfect. You don't want it to lack in performance. Get the other side in. That's it, all of them. 
All good, right? She's bolted up tight. We'll do that in a sec. So, the exhaust manifold. So, many V8. Did it come up with all the ones that we need? Uh, OHV, OHV. There, two of these. Let's get them in. I suppose we could have took the other engine out and just swapped the manifold for a single carb. Uh, oh well. Uh, sparks. Sparkies. Hey. Let's see, get them in there. Right, now we're going to need the valve push rods, aren't we? Yeah, because we haven't got any. So how many? 8, 16. Push rods. Is it just push rods? Nothing special? No? Wicked. So 16 of those. And there we go. And then we're going to need what are the other things? Rocker thingy majigs. These. 16 of those. There we are. So if we get these installed. Alright, so there's the last one. Let's get the spark plugs in. Three, four, then the other one of you. Get that nutted in. Excellent. Right, so now we need the engine head covers B and A. So, head cover V A O H V. Um, where are you? So, O H V D. No, we just want normal ones. V A O H V there and there. That's it. Good. I didn't want those silly colours. They make it look stupid. I want it to look nice and smart. Yeah. And then this side. That's it. Lovely. Right. Now we need intake manifold one carb. So, intake, one, carb. Haven't got it. That sucks, doesn't it? One carb, let's have got the two carb. Two series. Alright, um, let's quickly check the other store and see if it is that one. Intake, one, carb. Ah, yes, yeah, so I haven't got it. Never mind, hopefully you'll have the rest. And there we go, right, what next? So we can get the four barrel carb from this store. So, four barrel, there we are, one of those. That's it. Get that in there, lovely, right. Uh, round air filter base. So, base. Carb. Oh, I haven't got it here. Idiot, come on. That's the one. So, yeah, that one. Then I suppose we're going to need one carb cover. And then we can go back to the other store and get the air filter, which is a round one. So I'm going to guess that 16B. If not, oh wait, it'd be V8 OH3, wouldn't it? If they had it. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. So let's get this on. And then the filter. One carb. Alright, so let's type one carb. That's it. One carb. There she is. Right. Good, we got it. So get that in there. Then the cover. Fold that up. So what's next? Uh, we need ignition coil B. Coil B. Ignition coil B. Perfect. Uh, we're going to need an alternator too. So we'll get that ready. Let's get that in there. Was that the right one, yeah? Yeah. High power output. So it's just a basic alternator. Get you in. And uh, power steering pump. 
Do they do that? They do, don't they? It's the water they don't do. Right, what one? V8. V8, mate. Lovely. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, which one should we put on? It's got to be the darker one, isn't it? This goes with the rest of the engine then. Right, fuel filter. Filter. It's a filter. Lovely. Right, and now we need camshaft V8 OHV. Camshaft. Camshaft, mate. V8 OHV. That's it. Get you in there. Uh, cam gear. Which you have to get from the other store. Cam gear. Yep. Uh, was that just normal or was that V8 OHV too? It's a V8 OHV. Lovely. Right, got it. Um, Where are you? There. Got that on there. Perfect. Right. No bolts? No? What if it slips off? Timing chain. V8 OHV. V8 OHV. Can we do it? Oh, it has to be a space, is it? So you guys all ready for Christmas? You excited? You know, it'd be nice to... Get 2020 just out of the way now, innit? You know, just start fresh. 2021. Everyone's happy. You know, hopefully the vaccine for all this shit will um, clear a lot of the mess up, you know, and then everyone can get back to normal, you know. Get back and enjoy the outside, you know, go to the gym, go swimming. Oh, I've missed swimming so much. Crankshaft, Pilly V8, OHV. Um... But yeah, hopefully, you know, 2021 will be decent and we can forget this shit. Uh, pulley. V8, I guess? I've lost. Talking shit. Confused myself. There. V8 OH3, there we go. So get that in there. And then the water pump. Do, 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 do. One, 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 that one. That's it, get you in there. Bow it up all nice. Salted, right. So, serpentine belt, VHOAV. Serpent, it's so much quicker, isn't it? It saves you scrolling through. V A O H V. So, that one. And that one. I want that one. Yep. Yeah. Uh, water pump pulley. I think it's just the basic one, wasn't it? Just that one. Nothing too special. Is it? And then serpentine belt B. And now the. We'll do that in a sec. Let's get the ignition distributor. Actually, no, that doesn't make sense, does it? We're here, so radiator fan V8 OHV. V8 OHV there. Lovely. Get you in. Right, and now we can do this the ignition distributor. We're going to need a couple of clips, eh? Don't want one, so if we just buy two of each, then we're good. So go there, go there. Ignition. Distributor. So you, and then we want the thing that goes in. You, no. Back. Where is it? We got that. And is this a cap? I think it's that, the rotor. And then we buy a cap. Let's see if I got that right. So you put the ignition distributor in. Yep, there we are. And then the cap. Oh yeah. We got it right. No waste no time wasted there. All money. Well, sort of. Right, and then ignition wires V8. Um There we are. Get them on. And does that mean the engine no we've got to do the clutch stuff, the firewall. We pick back here. So if we get that stuff quick, so we want that, that, 
and that, and then go back here, over here, over here, and that. There we are. Let's get that installed. Lovely jubbly. That's it, then just this bit. And we are done, I think. That's the engine sorted. Yeah, we haven't missed anything. Let's zoom out. Probably better to do it this way. Yeah, nice. Right, now let's go and get this put together. So, we do the suspension. Obviously, body comes last. We'll remove all of us and that. It's a shame about that seat, but, you know. Alright, so do that. Then that. Uh, and here we go. Right, so this is probably going to take a while. So, if I quickly get this done. Alright, and that was the final piece of the suspension and underneath the car. So, if we start looking for some wheels. So, we're going to have to do some tests, I think. Obviously, we want nice big fat tyres, I think. Let me quickly get a picture up. Right, there we go. So, now we've got some sort of idea we can find something, hopefully, a lot similar than last time. So, let's have a look, see? I'll scroll all the way up. There we go. Mm, more like them. Sort of. So far, there are lucky winners. That's the closest we're going to get, I think. Um, no. No, no. No, 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 no. Nope. 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 That's a shame. You know, the closer we get, the better. There's a lot of wheels now, though. So... Oh, hang on. They're sort of close. If the triangles were wider apart. Right, so it's between these and how far are they from the bottom? Three, so them. Oh yeah, it's definitely got to be these, isn't it? So we'll do them. We'll have four of these. Probably, if we go 17. No, that'd be too big. So 15. And then... Let's go to the tyre store. Just go for normal road tyres. So what did we do? We went 15. Uh... Let's go two, three, five, and then we go seventy-five. Probably best to buy one at the moment just to test it. So if we do that, then we go over here and put them together. It and do that, that. Hopefully they look okay. The tire might be a bit too big. Any time now. Come on, spin, spin, spin. It's gonna look nice this once it's finished. That's it. Let's take that off. Tires. I don't know. Maybe. So where do we go? If we go seventeen, 
Uh, we do. Let's go 17 inch. So what was the profile on that tire? Let's have a look. If we take it apart. So the profile. 75. So if we go 17 inch and then a 55 profile, that might be all right. So back to the wheels. These ones. Four. 17 and then back here back here yeah vintage tire B let's do that uh, what size do we do 17 width could say 285 and then 55 on the profile and that should be okay so 17 so we go oh, right let's see how this looks Wants to look good now, we just spent all that bloody money on it. Uh, so, 17. That's better. Yeah, much better. Right, let's take this off then. Take you off, put you on there. Yeah, and then we've got one more to do. 17. That's it, let's go and get the other side on. Seventeen. Can I get the other ones. That's it. We're gonna put this on, and then we can bring her down and start putting the body on, getting her uh, fully restored, repainted. Yep. And then she'll be all ready for the garage. Oh, that's not too big for the front. No, it looks about right. Looks lovely. There we go. Right. That's it. Stuck her on there. There we go. Right, let's bring her down. Go get that engine off over here. Pull it off. Let's bring it completely down. So we need to go to the body shop. The body shop next and look for Impala. So if we do that, go over here. Community. There we go. So we're gonna buy all of this. That way there's no confusion about what we need to buy and what we don't. That, 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 that. That, 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 and that. There we go. Right, so, assemble mode. We've got to put the whole car back together. That's it. What's this? Fender? Okay. And front bumper. Front end. Then the lights. That's it, she's looking good. Let's get all the doors back on and the glass. Like a saw. And the tail lights. Then this side, and then she's um, ready to go into the old spray booth. Well, sort of, we've got to get her welded. Right, let's put that hood on. Nah, we'll, we'll put the new hood on, so let's take that off. Uh, assemble mode. What? Oh, assemble mode, there we go. That one. That's it, right. So she should. Oh, she's looking good now. Right, uh, we need the welder. Let's put that at number three. And then the interior cleaner at number three also. Yep, that's it. Put you back. Put you back. All right. She is nearly ready to go. Have we got a battery we can put in there? We do. Right, let's get that on there then. Uh, 
Got to take that brake servo out. It's not good. It'll be the one piece that lets it all down. Right. That's it. Let's go and put that back in. Lovely. Right. Uh, I suppose we could put the engine in, can't we? Or should we wait for a respray? Let's get the number plates. So go there. Uh, Kansas. That's it. And then... Uh, what should we have it? Oh, yeah, we'll have it. The original number plate, yeah? So it's got to be the original plate for Supernatural. So that is... CNK. So, CNK. Eight zero Q three. There we go. I want two of those. Let's chuck them on there. So assemble mode. That's it. Kansas. And then at the back there. Kansas. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, baby. Then we just got to get a sprayed. So that battery should be done now. Let's chuck that in. Right, let's quickly take her into the spray booth then. So, actually, have I got any cars in here? No? Right, we're good. Uh, move car. Spray booth. Get resprayed. Then we've got to do the interior. So it's simple colour. Nothing too special. Metallic, yep, yeah, perfect. Paint color. Right, that's good. Uh, so, move the car back to number three. Oh, yeah, baby. Now she's looking proper. Nice. Right, let's get that engine in. Uh, number three. And you. Install. Yep. Now we've just got some extra bits we've got to do now. So we need a radiator. Have we got one? We do. Wicked. Right, so we've got the radiator. And then we've got to put the transmission on and the rest of the exhaust system, I think. Oh, I've got to take some lovely photos of this car, I'm telling you. Right, no exhaust system, which is fine. Right, we'll put a custom one on, I think. So back there, back there. No, not that one. That one. So, V A O H V. Let's have a look, see what one we need. Just a V A O H V. So that one. There we go. Get a good one on there. That's it. Uh, starter. Nope, need to buy one. I don't think they do them here. No. Alright, so we need to keep that in mind for next time. Is it a V8? Yep. Just buy that. That's it. Can you mount it on there? There we go. Then the old drive shaft. Lovely. Right, I think that is it. We just gotta put some oil in and do the interior. Let's bring it down. Oh yeah man, this one's definitely a keeper. This one I'm gonna be so proud to have sitting in my garage. My garage. That's it, nearly there. Perfect. Right. Close that up. Let's move her over to door number two. And if we look here, it'll tell us what interior seats we need. 
There we go, so... Oh, wait, what? Sway bar front end link B. I always fucking miss that. That's twice now. Uh, so, bench, bow and rear. Rear. Uh... Bow and bench, bow and rear. And then the steering wheel. There we go, there, and there. Chuck you in. Chuck you in. And that should be all of that. Look around, there we are, come back. Then we've got a quick remover. Again. Number three. It's, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I missed it, because I know I bought two of the bloody things for it. That's it. Up she goes. Uh, so if we go there. Oh, yeah, there. Just there. That's it. And that should be it. Perfect. Right, let's move her. Yeah, all done. All right. There we go. So we have the legit original version of the 67 Chevrolet Chevrolet Impala from the TV show Supernatural. The Winchester's car. All right. So are you happy? We've got the real version now. Good. I'm glad. Hit that like button. Uh, if you're new to the channel and you're enjoying the show, the series of Car Mechanic Simulator, uh, maybe consider subscribing and uh, hitting that notification bell so you're always notified when there is an upload, alright? And uh, as always, thank you for watching, I love you all, and I will most definitely see you in the next one.